Hey everybody, Mark Walters here, out on the ranch. The animals are having a good time. Isn't that right, Ginger? You having a good time, Ginge? Oh, well good, good. Well, listen, in this video, I wanna share with you what you really need to focus in on when you're trying to drive traffic to a particular page. Let's say that you're using Google AdWords or any other type of ads that are out there, Facebook included. Now, if you're driving them to a squeeze page, of course that squeeze page is gonna be focused to whatever your offer is. It's a little windy out here. I'm gonna try and go where it's blocked a little bit. Excuse me, Jerry the goat here. Pardon me. Thank you, sir. Um, anyway, obviously if you're sending them just to a squeeze page, that squeeze page is going to be specific to whatever the ad was that got them there. And then of course you're going to offer them something free when they give you your uh, whatever it is that you're asking for. You're at least asking for an email address, maybe a name. Um, every once in a while you can ask for address, phone number, but for the most part it's going to be a name and an email address. But what if that ad is sending them to a web page that is niche specific? Well, what you want to be careful of is whatever the ad is highlighting to send them to a landing page that, um, my pig's getting excited, um, send them to a landing page that is in the, in the scope of what your ad was. So you don't want to have so many things on the landing page that, that gets them confused. So just keep it focused where they're landing so that the experience that they have with you and your service is consistent and one that gives them comfort and not confusion. So if your ad is saying one thing, have it go to a landing page that's saying that one thing. Give them you know, an opportunity to uh, take advantage of your service, opt into whatever you've got. Then once you build that relationship, you can tell them all the other things that it is that you can offer them. But don't confuse them by having all of your services on the page that they're first seeing. And the reason for that is you want to keep it simple. You don't want to overwhelm them. A lot of times people think, oh my gosh, I've got to prove to the world that I can do all these things. Well, you know what? The world doesn't care. If they're doing a search for something, they're putting in a specific keyword and they want an answer answer to whatever problem they've got and or whatever solution they're looking for based on that keyword. So don't muddy it up, don't confuse it. Um, you know, when you're doing your keyword advertising, have that ad go to a page that, again, is based on that keyword or the niche within that keyword and offer them one solution uh, to whatever it is they're searching for. Then, once they've opted in, you can start offering other solutions. But by keeping it simple and building that relationship early in the beginning that you are concise to the point, they'll value you more, they'll open up future emails, and that's a good thing because a lot of times that's then going to convert to sales or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. I'm Mark Walters and I look forward to sharing more with you very soon. Isn't that right, Ginger? Oh, good.